guys, this is me again with another magazine review. This time I'm going to review uh, the January number of National Geographic magazine. Um, this is a retrospective actually uh, of the best images National Geographic has presented in 2020. This is, as I said, a special number and um, in this magazine, uh, the best photographers are celebrated for their effort to take the best pictures. Um, in, their, in their 133 years since they uh, have been around, National Geographic never did the retrospective of a year. So this is the first number of this magazine actually uh, presenting the last year. They, they've never done this before, but well, 2020 uh, has been an exceptional year, uh, so they considered it appropriate, actually. Um, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. So we're going to see a lot of pictures, a lot of pictures in this number. Um, this is a picture before the COVID has spread in, um, in, um, uh, in Serengeti actually and they explain how the tourism has been affected by the pandemic so um, a lot of stories uh, from um, from uh, this perspective yeah. so how is it like to be a photographer in two, uh, 2020 Practically, uh, it's not the usual number, and we're going to see a lot of pictures. Um, yeah, beautiful. Uh, this is a picture taken in United States. Um, uh, usually, kids went around and uh, they had a tradition uh, to spread candies and everything, um, but actually, because of the pandemic the egg hunting has been stopped but but what one of the mothers has dressed um, uh, her son in a bunny suit and uh, they respected the tradition beautiful uh, this is a picture taken in Romania um, in the magazine we'll be able to see all sorts of pictures taken by all sorts of photographers in all around the world the author of this picture is um, Remus Tipla, a Romanian photographer. So yeah, beautiful. Um, another picture taken by Anand Varma. Uh, this photographer started as an assistant um, and during the, um, during the pandemic and everything he I started to find a new way to make to make pictures to challenge himself. He's actually taking pictures of um, of um, insects and uh, of jellyfishes, and he wanted to see how uh, jellyfish um, is formed, and uh, that's very very incredible. And an interesting fact about jellyfishes: um, they are capable to go back in time and actually reverse their age so they're practically able to become younger and uh, that's um that's quite interesting that's quite interesting a lot of pictures another picture taken in italy with a couple um getting married so uh, society has to move on but there are new ways to make this process work uh, this is happening in uh, Barzano, Italy. Um, I'm gonna wet my fingers because it's so uh, it's so cold that I can't turn the page otherwise. So I'm going to do this. Um, yeah. Um, another picture taken also in Italy with people working at. Um, at this place that we don't like to know about but actually it's a necessary uh, step um, interesting. Uh, picture taken in Nairobi in Kenya uh, they talk about 
what happened with the Black Lives Matter and how this affected a lot of people. And there is a sort of solidarity among, uh, among people when something like that happens. Um, this is a picture of a judge that died. Uh, in Michigan, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Actually, uh, she was a, a feminist and she managed to open a lot of roads ahead. And um, wow, COVID actually affected a lot of people. This is in Louisiana taken uh, with the Dr. Gerald Forrest. Um, putting um, a mask before uh, examining patients. This shows, again, a picture with um, disinfectants on the streets. Uh, it was a lot of panic. People wanted to see that the authorities are doing something to stop this virus. Of course, it was proven that uh, it was rather toxic for people to inhale that. So that wasn't very good. All, all sorts of pictures taken uh, during protests with Black Lives Matter. Um, in India, again, a lot of pictures. Uh, they talk about poverty. They talk about how this pandemic affected a lot of people with their income. A lot of people lost their jobs. And that's a fact. Again, with funerals, how they have been taking place. A priest uh, blessing the coffins in Italy. Um, it's, it's an image with the immigrants, again, with uh, immigrants from Pakistan trying to find a better life. So that's, again, not, not very easy. So the pandemic affected a lot of people. Uh, the explosion in Beirut, this is how a lot of places looked after it, so again, not, not very easy. Um, California, what happened in California, a lot of forests burned, uh, burned into flames. Uh, there is also a talk about the environment and how uh, the pandemic affected this um, this aspect of our lives. So yeah, beautiful. In uh, Indonesia, how the body is being uh, covered and uh, it affected the process of the funeral itself. Like people couldn't get the normal funeral. Um, there was a lot of solitude. So. It, it impacted people, it definitely affected them. Uh, an image with, um, uh, from a university from Poland, empty, no students, nobody around, definitely not easy. This is a picture with two nurses um, taken in Belgium. So yeah. You can see the pandemic through the eyes of the photographers. Uh, imagine going and seeing this with your own eyes. Maybe seeing a picture is it's quite easy, but seeing it with your own eyes, it changes things. It definitely changes things a lot. Uh, in Wuhan, China, social distancing, taking a break at work and eating. This is definitely troubling, but this is re the reality. In France, nobody is taking the train anymore. So, yeah, definitely not, not very easy to watch this. In Bucharest, Romania, um, again, a uh, part of the road, which was usually very, very crowded, and now nobody. Uh, in the, during lockdown, it was like deserted. They also talk about the museums, they are running out of visitors, a lot of the museums might close up because of the pandemic. So yeah, in Indonesia again, empty roads, nobody around, very very hard, but that's the reality.
that's the reality. Uh, again, they are showing also um, progress and uh, they also show how life must go on um, in medicine, in space, in uh, research. Um, evolution needs to happen. So this is about hope. Hmm. This is uh, an image of the migration of the Nu and um, it affected, it affected tourism, it affected animals, it affected a lot of things, this pandemic, so definitely not easy. An um, image of the, in the Michigan, actually, from the lake, so a lot of solitude. An image in Seoul, Korea. Um, actually, it's very interesting that in uh, Korea they have made uh, a sort of a cabin, a little place where you can enter and actually test yourself. Um, I was quite puzzled to see this because it's unusual, uh, but they are becoming a common thing in Korea because um, of this pandemic. So I don't know how you feel about this image, but uh, like going on the road, seeing an image like this, you imagine like it's weird, it's like is this going to be the new norm? Is this how uh, things are going to happen? But maybe this is how it's going to be. Maybe this is the new norm. This is the new thing. But it's definitely weird to to watch this kind of thing. An image taken uh, taken with a patient, uh, a mother delivering her baby at home. Uh, it's becoming uh, common. A couple sitting in Malaysia with uh, his wife. A lot of people who had difficult jobs um, going in and out of the country have discovered a new thing like staying with your loved one, uh, enjoying uh, a time spent together. So maybe that's not so bad. Maybe the pandemic has shown us how to be close to our loved ones more. So yeah. The next image. Again, uh, a mother with her baby in uh, uh, Tamara Merino. She's saying how much she appreciates the fact that she could stay at home with her child. So yeah, this was an endearing picture with a girl visiting her best friend and keeping social distancing. But they touched their hands just because they wanted a form of human contact. Again, a couple of neighbors trying to respect the social distancing and covering their mouth. So people also uh, started to make fun of this thing. Like, you have to have a little humor to get over this pandemic. Um, this image, I was impressed and it was in the previous number of National Geographic a mother and uh, her daughter um, they are trying to respect the distancing and they are hugging through a piece of plastic uh, yeah so what wouldn't people do to hug their loved one yeah it was quite troubling and uh, this is it yeah this is the number a lot of pictures um, a lot of stories uh, this uh, this shows that 200 and, uh, 2020 has been an exceptional year with the good and the bad and uh, National Geographic definitely uh, paid a tribute to this. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye!